generalized linear regression. Or are you done? Okay, let me show you quickly how to do this. Okay, so, so I'm gonna open a new pane and go to object and generalize the linear model. As I explained last week, generalized linear model is able to handle data set that does not really um, have normal distribution, right? So in linear regression, it's important for the response variable or dependent variable to have a bottom linear um, normal distribution. However, oftentimes it's violated. For example, if you go to, uh, so data, let's go, go to data and then go to target and target count number of new products. Just bring it over here and look at this data. Okay. It's uh, skewed to the right, right to the right. And then lots of data is zero, meaning no transactions, okay? No transaction, no new product, no, no user is what it says here. And it's really difficult for you to transform this data. And uh, it is actually following Poisson distribution rather than normal distribution. And if you have the response variable that has uh, uh, this kind of you know, skewed data, then, then you cannot run linear regression because it's not meeting your uh, assumption very well. So in this case, what we do is we are going to run generalized linear program, linear um, regression. So let's go to object and scroll down. You see generalized linear model and paste it in the pane. Then you have template right there. And I'm gonna go to roles and add response variable. And the response variable is target TGT count number new products. And then continuous effects, let's use the same thing, logic. So log RFM one, two, nine, 12. So you select all of them. Click on OK. As you have done before, classification effect is category one and two. And then you have the result here, right? So this is a generalized linear model. And notice that you don't have R squared here. So uh, it's uh, handled by different statistical skills and methods and formula. So you don't have uh, R squared here, but you have AIC, DIC, AICC, those values you're going to use to compare them with another model. If you want to just copy this one, what you can do is you can um, click on this page three and there are three dots, click on that and you say duplicate page, right? So duplicate it. So then the same thing appears here. And then we can change things around, right? So let's go to options. And then you see under generalized linear model, let's click on informative missingness. Variable selection method, I'm gonna go with backward method. Selection criteria, according to significance level, 0.01 is good, as I, I said before. Now here, look at distribution. Distribution, it says it's a normal distribution, but it's not normal. So we change it to say, pause and distribution. And the link function is log function because we need to transform the dependent variable into log function. So put it this way, Poisson distribution and link function we have then. And uh, look at the ASE number or look at AIC 1.1 million, something 1.16 1 million. Look at uh, the other one. 1.8 million, you see that? The AIC, the initial one that I run, ran with normal distribution and identity function was 1.6, 1.8 million. 
However, if you go back to, so let me change this one for your reference. Say this is GLM normal, this normal distribution, normal distribution. This, this is GLM normal distribution. And this one is rename, rename please. Rename GLM Poisson distribution, right? So GLM Poisson improves. So you compare AIC value now or BIC value, and you see that there's a significant impro improvement. BIC 1.163, this one BIC 1.887. So even you can click on it. So we see the improvement. One more improvement. I want to copy this one. So copy duplicate page. Now I'm going to change it to Tweety. So rename, not Poisson, but Tweety. So Tweety is uh, uh, when you have a lot of zeros, as I showed you before, right here. Right. So we have a lot of zeros, eight more than eight hundred thousand zeros. So in that case, um, we can use a treaty function. So you go to, now instead of Poisson, you are gonna choose treaty. So these are the five methods that you can use to improve your linear regression. Right? The first one, include the important variables only by choosing backward method. Second, excluding outliers. Third, um, uh, interaction effects will strengthen the model itself. That's the third one. Fourth one, filtering the uh, response variables. Fifth one, uh, using GLM, general, generalized linear uh, models. With Poisson variable and log transformation, you can do that and you improve this one. So BIS is 1.12, right? From 1.16 to 1.12, it decreases, right? So you see the progression of the improvement of linear regression in this one. Okay.